ASW's RRI Productions coming at you guys here. Alright, so today I am going to be trying to tackle the rear hatch. Um, it will not latch. Uh, if you actually look, it looks like somebody gave it a good kick. The latch is not properly latching and staying latched. So I'm going to be pulling the panel off checking the linkage and straightening everything out. Hopefully it's something simple, easy to fix. Uh, tools that I'm using for this, screwdriver, um, probably won't use that, a mallet, tunes, and gloves. Um, that's pretty much all I'm gonna need for this. I will need to go grab a flathead screwdriver and once I have this all pulled in, I might need to get a Torx bit to get the latch out. But if I do, I will add that in. Like I said. Uh, four bolts, and there, two there, two there, and if you actually look, they're just a bracket, so if you shove it in, pops off, over here, shove it in, pop it off, these will have, yeah, just simple class brackets, <laughs> wow, yeah, so I'm going to pop this down, I'm going to rip all this out, and then we'll get to Okay, so I actually have two more screws either side that I gotta grab before I take this completely down. I also got the light fastener on here. It's just a click. And then a push and pop off. So as you saw, uh, this stuff, the sound deadening stuff is pretty well hammered. Um, so I'll just rip that out and we'll toss it away. Um, make sure you pop these back in on the fastener so that you don't lose pieces you need later. Alright, then let's check out this. I'm almost wondering if it's locked. So that one's actually locked. So, we're going to close this and see what happens for a second. Huh? Yeah. Nope, so I did not fix it. I kind of figured it wouldn't. Alright, so I got to climb in here. And Check this bad boy out. See what's up. It's filthy. Alright. Give me a second here. Alright, so finished pulling off most of the de sound deadener in here. Still a few pieces left. Uh, 
to deal with that when I'm done. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mallet, screwdriver, I'm going to beat on this to pull this a little bit more this way, the latch. Because um, what it looks like is that the latch is just too far towards the bottom. It's not having enough room to actually get in there and latch. So I'm going to hammer on this a little bit, a couple good hits. And then I'm going to use screwdriver up in here and use it to kind of push out the part that is bent in here. Um, you can obviously see it. And then because of this right here, I'll end up taking a hammer and a mallet and kind of smacking here a couple times just to push it out. And um, by no means am I an actual body man. You know, body man would bring out more tools, do more stuff to this. I'm just trying to get it so that it latches and locks. That should be enough to do this to get it to latch and lock so I can't just, you know, grab it and pop it open. Um, anyways, just kind of throw this on video real fast for you guys so that you guys can see. This is how simple it is to bang a body into position. Um, and like I said, an actual body man is going to take way more time. They're going to actually straighten out the lines. I'm not necessarily looking for that. I'm just looking to be able to close, lock, and secure the vehicle. So here we go. Normally, you wouldn't use a screwdriver that's long like this or nearly as thin, um, especially with a mallet. It will put, well, it will put rings in it. But I'm kind of in a pinch, and I just need this done quickly so that I know it works. Anyways, um, here we go. Normally, I, I would use um, like a crowbar or something like that for this so that you're not causing as much damage, but I also want something that's not going to push this a lot at the moment, so that's why we're using this. Plus, uh, anybody that's watched my reply to uh, Camaro Times tool challenge, toolbox challenge, knows half my tools are over there, over there, over there, up there, and down there. <laughs> so, you kind of use the tools you got. And then like I said, I'm going to hammer on this lip a little bit, kind of bend it back out so that it's not bent in as much in the middle. And we'll try and latch it, see what happens. Alright, let's see. here give her a good tug all right now this side and voila like i said um this is just a quick fix for it this is i mean this is an l1 durango i'm not looking for you know a 2010 2019 whatever you know anyway if you're, i'm not looking at a modern car um if this was my <laughs> challenger by far i'd be doing a lot different than this if it was a truck i'd be doing a lot different but for you know this vehicle this vehicle these are the kind of quick fixes you can do obviously it latches now you can't just yank it and pop it open which is what i want so at this point i will put everything back together and call it good. Oh, another thing is you want to make sure you put everything back where it actually went. So, these go in these little points here and on that end. Uh, these clamps will obviously clamp into these side parts. I got to pop this back so I can slide it in here. Put the screws back in there. Connect the light again. And then push everything up. Pop. Make sure the 
back, let's go throw back into these, and four bolts, or four screws, and we're good to go. least double check again all right and that is a quick fix for if something gets kicked and you just need to put a latch back where it needs to go for Durango hatchback latch Ugh. anyways Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe down below, and we will move on to the next project. Thanks for watching.